Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a patient who had left-sided hip pain and pelvic pain. They're an athlete, they're 22 years old now, and they've had the symptoms for seven years, finally came in to get evaluated. And we have MRI of the left hip, and uh, the left hip looks pretty good here. The right hip looks good as well. Maybe a little teeny bit of fluid in the hip, just barely discernible, but no sizable joint diffusion. And one thing we noticed was the symphysis pubis. Here's the symphysis pubis. There's a primary cleft, a little vertical band of fluid there centrally. Looks okay towards the front. If we get towards the middle of it, though, it looks like it's a little bit wide, and the bone around is a little bit indistinct and maybe a little thickening of the cortex. So it looks like this may have some mild chronic mechanical shear forces. And if we go towards the posterior aspect, that's towards the front, middle, now towards the posterior aspect, we see a little band right here on this view. Now if we zoom the sun up, we can see it a little bit better. So here's the middle, a little bit wide. And again, that bone's a little too indistinct and thick. So uh, that is uh, related to chronic mechanical shear forces. And again, if we go towards the back, we lose the symmetry. Here's the right-hand side, nice vertical. And here we're starting to see something else. And then one more cut here, we see a secondary cleft. So this is a sign of a periosteal injury of the left medial pubic bone. And this is a, a sports hernia, just a mild sports hernia. There's not much in the way of myoedema. And now we're going to go back and move posterior. And the main finding of this patient is on the left-hand side here. This is the left hamstring tendon origin. We see an abnormal band of bright fluid there at the left hamstring tendon origin. The left hamstring tendons are intact. You can see them coming up here attaching, but the apophysis is fractured and distracted distally. And there's fluid at the site of uh, the fracture there. So it looks like a chronic injury probably happened before the apophysis was fused and it pulled off and now just uh, chronic distractive forces have kept it from healing and now we have this prominent cortical irregularity of the ischium here and again this dark band is part of the uh, apophysis and the hamstring tendon is intact. On this axial view here we can see the normal right side. You can see the hamstring tendons coming on and how nice it should look and here on the left hand side how wide and irregular there's bony spurring. The hamstring tendons, again, are intact, but um, a little bit thickened, some chronic tendinopathy. And again, a fractured apophysis with a little bit of distraction. And that's it. So thank you very much.